Welcome to Ybor City. We're, we're standing in the courtyard of the Ybor City State Museum, and it's a wonderful opportunity to begin a tour of Ybor City. I think one of the great themes in Ybor City is the tug of war between the natural elements that, that created Florida, that is the climate, the plants, and then the alien elements that competed here, in this case the immigrants and the technology that created the cigar industry. If you look around, you, you'll see what seems to be the most natural setting in Florida. It's, it's really a, a, an amazing courtyard here. You see orange trees, you see hibiscus, oleander, bougainvillea, frangipani. And your first impression may be, this is as Florida as it gets. And yet what's interesting about that is these are all imports. They all came from somewhere else. Uh, so did the cigar industry in a sense. That is the immigrants who came here from Spain, and Cuba and Italy. And in Ybor City, tobacco, native to the New World, intermingled with immigrants from the Old World, and thus was born one of the great industries, uh, the, the fine hand-rolled cigar of Ybor City. The man behind Ybor City was Vicente Martinez Ybor, a remarkable Spanish immigrant who, who came to Cuba at age 18. He uh, founded several cigar factories in Cuba, and uh, the history of Ybor City is in many ways like a great novel, that, that you have the compelling personality in Ybor. He's exiled from Cuba during, a, during the Cuban Civil War of 1868. He winds up in Key West. He makes his fortune again in Key West. But because of labor difficulties in Cuba, he chose Tampa, Florida as the site of his company town in 1885. Uh, the coming of Ybor City transforms Tampa from a from a small community into an industrial city and next to the coming of the railroad in 1881 the creation of Ybor's cigar factory and the creation of Ybor City uh, remains one of the great events in the history of Tampa